Thought it was a centaur, didn't you? Or maybe some other hoofed creature. Well, you wouldn't be the first person to fall for it, because in the Swiss Army, this is a technique we've used for many years. You simply take two halves of a coconut, you super glue them together, break them apart, and that leaves you with two halves of a coconut that you can use to emulate any intimidating hoofed creature. Great introduction to the video, Doc. That is just one of the combat secrets of the Swiss Army that we're going to be covering. Uh, as many of you viewers know already, uh, even in times of unprecedented peace, such as those we live in now, a lot can be gained from studying military history and military strategy. And there is no nation on earth with a longer and bloodier history of warfare than Switzerland. And here at Life Advice, we're lucky enough to have Dr. Pam Landsman on the team, who not only founded the Swiss Army, but who over the generations has taken part in many campaigns including the Swiss War of Independence, the Swiss War of the Roses, and the War on Swiss Terror. So, Doc, why don't you begin by telling us how you came to found the Swiss Army? Thanks, Derek. I actually founded the Swiss Army by accident. Uh, a couple of generations ago, I'd uh, gone to an antiques house to uh, grab a frappe. I was swatting away a mosquito, and I accidentally successfully bid on 15,000 military uniforms and equipment. Uh, I didn't want to see them go to waste, uh, so I founded the Swiss Army. And I founded it on the cowardly principles of my own family. Uh, that's why the motto of the Swiss Army is camouflage at all costs. Yeah, camouflage at all costs is indeed the motto of the Swiss Army. And of course, there are very many camouflage techniques that were pioneered by the Swiss Army and which have been adopted by militaries the world over. Some of the best known of those are disguising oneself as a mountain or disguising oneself as Lewis Hamilton. Uh, but I believe, Doc, you're going to fill us in on some of the lesser known camouflage techniques. Sure thing. Since so many of our military victories were predicated on not engaging the enemy, uh, we were actually the first army to experiment with working from home. We found our deterrence and obfuscatory tactics could be just as effective from long range, and that actually enabled our troops to arrive at a much healthier work-life violence balance, uh, because a contented soldier is a deadly soldier. That is true, and everyone knows that the Swiss troops are some of the most efficient fighting forces in the world. As we Brits found out to our cost back in 2008 with the attempted invasion of Lewis Hamilton, uh, why don't you tell us, Doc, the strategies that were used by the Swiss Army in order to repel that invasion? The Battle of Hamilton 2008 was a toughie. Uh, Lewis is probably the wiliest, the canniest, the atheist opponent we've ever gone up against. and. In the end, his red fury was too much for us to bear. So we actually ended up assimilating him into our own community. Uh, but the battle did not, did not end there. We actually employed one of our uh, guerrilla techniques uh, whereby we would all disguise ourselves as Lewis Hamilton. That would undermine him psychologically. And in so doing, we're able to neutralize the threat. Well, I think the psychological effectiveness of that technique is evidenced by Lewis Hamilton's ongoing identity crisis. Okay, just to round this out, Doc, if you had to pick one combat secret of the Swiss Army, uh, which you consider to be your personal favorite and the most effective, which would it be? I'd have to say our radar blocking technology. Uh, it comes in the form of a Toblerone, and we've distributed them far and wide to every international airport on the globe. Uh, it just provides an excellent foundation for our surveillance network, uh, which sets us up best and has done for about a thousand years. Great actionable stuff there. I'm sure all the viewers now will be running out to the local stock is to buy Toblerone. It's available in three different sizes and in milk, white, and dark chocolate. And on top of its radar blocking capacities, it's also absolutely delicious. Okay, so with all that being said, keep growing. Buy Toblerone. Wow, that's gotta be the best video so far. So if you liked it, hit like. And if you disliked it, hit subscribe. See you, See you in the, the next, next video. video.